Dear students, in this video, we are going to solve the specimen question paper of computer applications which is given by ICIC board for 2020 onwards. In this video, we will solve only section A and the next we will continue section B. Section A. 40 marks. Answer all the questions. Question 1. What is encapsulation? Wrapping up of data under a single unit is called encapsulation. It is the mechanism that binds together code and the data it manipulates. This is one of the OOPS concept. Explain the purpose of using a new keyword in a Java program. New keyword creates a Java instance that is object and allocates memory to that object. Question C. What are literals? Literals are constants in Java. A literal specifies a fixed value in a program. D. Mention the types of access specifiers. Access specifiers are public, private and protected. There is one more. We call it as default. This is not a keyword. When none of the above is mentioned, it is called default. If you write default, you must indicate that it is not a keyword. What is constructor overloading? When more than one constructor, that is different parameters, is given in the program, it is called constructor overloading. Question number 2. A. Differentiate between boxing and unboxing. Converting primitive data type into object is called boxing. Converting an object into corresponding primitive data type is called unboxing. These terms that is boxing and unboxing are added into new syllabus. In the old syllabus it was called wrapper classes. I have already explained wrapper classes in my previous video. Please refer it. Then you will understand it clearly. Rewrite the following condition without using logical operators. If A is greater than B or A is greater than C, it prints A. So, we should not use and or not operators here. So, those are logical operators. Without that, how we can use? Here R is there. R we can use using if and else if statements. If A is greater than B, it is going to print A. Else if A is greater than C, again it is going to print A. So, this is very simple. Rewrite the following loop using for loop. While true. So, it prints star. While true means it is always true. The condition becomes always true. So, how we can convert into for loop? A always true means it is unbreakable one. That is infinity loop. So, just we can create an infinity loop where there is no initialization, no condition and then no increment. So, it becomes an infinity loop. So, we are going to print a star. Next question. Write the prototype of a function search. So, that means name of the function is search which takes two arguments. One is a string and other is a character one and returns a integer value. Here we can write public static or that is optionally we can leave it. I have mentioned it here. It returns integer type. So, we mention int instead of void. So, public static int 
and then search is the name of the method and the arguments are string and character. So string s, yes, cat c I have written. Differentiate between equal to and equal to equal to operators. We know equal to operator is assignment operator. This assigns value to the variable. The value is right side and the variable should be left side. Equal to equal to operator is relational operator. This compares the values of either side and returns a boolean. It says whether true or false. Question 3. State the number of bytes and bits occupied by a character array of 10 elements. So we know character data type has 2 bytes and then 10 elements are there in array. So 2 bytes into 10 elements equal to 20 bytes. If we need it to convert into bits, we can take it as 16 bits into 10 elements. Otherwise, we can also calculate 20 bytes into 8 that gives in bits. Differentiate between binary search and linear search techniques. Linear search, binary search. Linear search, search element is compared one by one. Here binary search, search element is compared with middle element. Linear search, entire process would be time consuming. Here in binary search, it is faster than linear search. It is more efficient than linear search. Linear search works for both sorted as well as unsorted arrays. Binary search works only for sorted arrays. This question was asked in 2019 board paper. Question C. What is the output of the following? String A is equal to Java is a programming language backslash N developed by backslash T backslash single inverted comma James Gosling single inverted comma close with backslash. So these are escape sequences backslash n gives a new line. So until Java is programming language it will print and there will be one space that we can't see and then the next line it starts after one space. So there is a space before and after backslash n developed by and then backslash t that gives a single tab that much space is given and then James Gosling inside the single quotation. Differentiate between break and system dot exit of zero. We know break is a keyword but system dot exit of zero is not a keyword it is a standard library function. Break terminates the switch or loop. Here, system.exit of 0 terminates the execution of the program. Write a statement in Java for root of a plus b the whole cube divided by a plus b uh, inside the two vertical lines. That means the absolute value it is. So, first let us write the numerator one. For a square root, we will have math.sqrt of a plus b whole cube is there. So what we will do math dot sqrt of math dot pow of a plus b comma 3. So we will be writing like this a plus b can be inside the bracket or without that that is option divided by math dot abs of a plus b and then we terminate it. What is the value of m after evaluating the following expression? m minus equal to 9 percentage plus plus n plus 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 n divided by 2. The values are given here m is 10 and n is 6. Here we can notice that m minus equal to is given. So what we do we will write m equal to m minus whatever is the right side expression within a bracket. 
So, first we have to evaluate that and then we will subtract from m. So, m value is 10 minus 9 percentage symbol plus plus n. So, n value is here 6 pre increment. So, it becomes 7 plus already the value of n will be 7. Again, it has been pre incremented. So, it becomes 8 divided by 2. So, now if we evaluate as per operator precedence, we should do multiplication or division or uh, the percentage symbol first and then only we have to add. So, we will do this one first and then this one. 9 divided by 7 uh, gives 2 as a remainder. Then 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, we will add whichever is inside the bracket first. So, 10 minus 6 becomes 4. Next, predict the output of the following. Math.pow of 25, 0.5 plus math.seal of 4.2. See here, pow of 25, 0.5. 0.5 means half. So, anything to the power half is root. So, it will be giving the value of 25 root. So, that is 5. 5.0 plus math.seal. So, seal is always rounding up. So, it will give 5.0. So, it becomes 10.0 here. Next, math.round of 14.7 plus math dot floor of 7.9. Round means according to the mathematical law, it will round. So, here 14.7, it becomes 15. Round gives the output in integer type. So, it is 15. A math dot floor, floor means round down. So, 7.9, though it is more than 5.5, it will leave that and it will take only the integer value that is 7, 15 plus 7.0, it is been implicit by computer automatically. So, that both becomes double now. So, the result will be 22.0. Give the output of the following Java statements. Here, transparent dot to lower case of. So, the transparent is a string here it will be converted into lower case completely. So, it becomes transparent in lower case. The next one, transparent dot compared to transition. See here, you can see trans, trans both are same in the beginning. And then here, P is there in the next one, there is I. So, until that it will check both are same. So, wherever it is differing that is p is here i is here so it will take the ascii value of p and then ascii value of i ascii value of p is 80 ascii value of i is 73 so it will take the difference first one minus second one so that is 80 minus 73 becomes 7 as the answer thank you students let us continue in the next session that is section b